All of the information of the internet is basically transferred from one location to another location in a language called HTTP, which stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Now, HTTP by itself is unprotected and susceptible to internet tricksters and thieves. So a technology called SSL, or Secure Sockets Layer, was developed to protect the information traveling on the internet. When HTTP is being protected by SSL, it inherits the letter S, which means it's secure. SSL keeps your information secure in two separate ways. The first is by encrypting your data. Let's say that you're in a coffee shop using Wi-Fi, and you're hit with an urge to buy something online. Without SSL and HTTPS, when you enter your credit card information, this information can be stolen because you're on a public Wi-Fi connection and anybody using that Wi-Fi could be listening to your transaction. Without encryption, the information is transmitted as text that anyone can read. The way that SSL and HTTPS encryption works is by scrambling this information so that the only people who can read it are those with the correct decryption key and not those devious cyber ninjas. The second way that SSL and HTTPS keep you safe is by identification. You are probably aware that there are sites that fish for your information. That's when you get sent an email that asks you to click here to go to your bank account. And when you click the link, it takes you to a site that looks exactly like your bank. But it's not your bank. It's a fake. As a viewer, it is very important to know if a website actually is what it says it is. And SSL gives us this tool. Let's say you accidentally followed one of these phishing links and it takes you to Amazon.com. You decide that you're finally going to buy that map of Westeros pillow that you've been eyeing for a couple of days now, and you navigate to a page where you enter your personal info. At this point, your browser will want to protect you, so it's going to try to encrypt this information. It will ask Amazon.com for something called a certificate. A certificate is simply a way of validating that a site really is what it says it is. A legitimate company website would send their company info to a registered certification authority where the info will be verified and a certificate that's signed by the certificate authorities will be created and stored. So your browser will check the certificate given by Amazon with all the certificates at all the different certificate authorities to see if one matches. If the certificate doesn't match any signed certificates, or if the certificate is expired, or if the certificate has been issued by an unknown authority, an alert will pop up in your browser informing you what is wrong with the site certificate and cautioning you against submitting your information. That's how HTTPS and SSL work together to keep you safe. Encryption and identification are two very important security features for any website. Make sure to check out our article on how you can improve your website's SEO by using SSL. Stay safe out there, guys.